I am audible. Yes, madam. madam please go ahead yes ma'am first thing is not about you it's all about putting your stamp on the value you deliver to others a very pleasant morning to everyone present here i am ms monica virwani on behalf of achievers college of commerce and management i welcome you all for the third day of fpp organized by the department of management studies and financial planning academy to start with the third day of faculty empowerment program let us invoke the god presence of among us i request rovina ma'am to play the saraswati vandana thank you ma'am now i request our respected principal ma'am ms sophia desuja ma'am to brief the audience thank you madam good afternoon to all my dear colleagues from various parts of india uh, first of all i would like to really apologize for the delay due to technical faults on behalf of achievers college i welcome you all on the third day of uh, our fifth national level faculty empowerment program organized by uh, department of management in collaboration with uh, financial planning academy uh, achievers college uh, is managed and chaired by uh, dr mahesh bhivandikar sir who has always branded our college as a teachers college and with this motto the college has uh, uh, achieved great heights in the field of education since 9 years uh, our, co our college is the first college in india to be nac accredited at a very young age under the uh, ugc parama scheme since last two days we have heard and discussed by uh, with two eminent speakers that is dr shraddha bhume madam on academic goal setting and yesterday we heard from miss uh, yukti gada madam who spoke on management of personal finance so teaching is considered as one of the most uh, you know critical position in our country because we have the opportunity and power to uh, either build a student or break a student so cho choices are us and def definitely as a teacher we would definitely look forward to build a student not break them 
so as teacher myself i can understand the problems that we are facing today especially in colleges that many of uh, students that don't turn out for lectures uh, those who turn out are interested in events sports and our concerns and problems increases due to somewhere because of the technology as well wherein everything for them is available but is this technology used properly or are we as teachers are doing our work properly so uh, we have come up uh, we have come up with uh, today's session which is on personal branding for teachers so that we can brand ourselves and uh, you know be, be approachable to our students because personal branding is something that is conscious and uh, intentional efforts so that we create a uh, uh, influence in the minds of our students and be approachable to them and with this intention i also welcome our speaker for today uh, miss prachi shukla madam and uh, also you my dear friends to learn in detail how our personal brand will help us to promote ourselves in the field of teaching so thank you so much and once again uh, we are really sorry for the technical uh, fault for the delay thank you thank you ma'am now i request our chairman dr c m h prevandikar sir to address the audience uh so can you uh, please unmute yourself yeah yes thank you very much uh, respected principal sofia disosa madam all other uh, dignitaries all uh, the stalwarts in the teaching profession and my dear friends indeed a matter of great privilege uh, uh, to host this faculty empowerment program uh, friends i am in the teaching since last 26 years and uh, uh, out of this rigorous uh, years of teaching i have branded myself as a teacher or a motivational speaker or a speaker in entrepreneurship development today morning also i was in um, one of the surrounding college uh, to give my talk on entrepreneurship to ty bms and dab students so friends uh, we as a teacher must get uh, acquaint professional approach into one of our topic of liking and develop ourselves into a motivational speaker giving something extra to the students with this intention we are here to empower teachers of unaided colleges to brand themselves as a best teacher so that they can be called invited by surrounding colleges to deliver talks and lectures and grow at their own life with this brief and intention of this course i once again welcome you all to the from the family of achievers college and uh, wish you all the success in your teaching endeavors and becoming a successful teacher thank you very much and over to uh, the organizers thank you so much sir for your words before moving ahead with section let us review of day 1 and day 2 day 1 academic goal set, uh, con uh, sex, uh, setting conducted by dr shada bome madam she explain about micro and micro goals important except to know set goaling self improvement as a teacher strength your technological skills brush up on your personal pedagogy improve your classroom teaching adjust your mindset keep upgrading yourself whatever i am learning i should know uh day 2 conducted by yukti gara madam topic was management of personal finance she explain about the difference between saving and investment mutual funds why to invest mode of investment and insurance uh both sections was a very great so moving ahead now would i like request to rovina madam to introduce today's guest speaker thank you monica madam i hope i am audible yes yes a very you warm are. yeah a very warm afternoon to everyone to start with about our today's guest well to know about her she is an instagramer and a youtuber on lifestyle self care and fashion she is freelancer in fashion and personality curator she has conducted training for business employees and even for college graduates she has an experience of 3 to 4 years yes it is a today's speaker ms prati shukla without wasting much of our time i request the speaker herself to highlight us on personal branding we welcome you ma'am and over to you thank you so much for the lovely introduction i'll just share my screen quickly 
and we'll start with today's session. Is my screen visible? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, not yet. Yes, ma'am. Visible to everyone? No. No. How about now? No, ma'am. Now is it visible? No, ma'am. Uh, can I share with any of the faculty and will you be able to play the PPT? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. That works, now. Give it a last shot. Katya, should I share it? Huh, if that works. Okay, let me do, give you two minutes. I will just quickly start. Uh, how many of us over here strongly believe that we can say something without saying anything? I'm sorry, we'll have the entire session in Hindi and English. I hope everyone is comfortable with it. Unmute karke bindas bolo. Chalega. We'll have a bit of informal session aaj. Yes. Works Yes, ma'am. So we all believe ki bina kahe hum bohat kuch bohat bar kahe jate hai. Isn't it? So how do we say it? Is because we build a perception which builds a perspective in the third person's mind. That perspective becomes a belief and that belief starts building the attitude on how they are going to treat you or how they will respond to you. Isn't it? So the perception hai, wo hum kaise build karte hai in third person's eye is the whole session which is going to be about. Any guesses, hum kaise apna perspective build karte hai, per sorry, perception apna kaise build karte hai in third person's mind or the second person's mind. Ha na, unmute karke, you all can answer. It's absolutely fine. It's not going to be a session where I just come online. I'm going to talk and talk and talk. We'll have an interactive session. Or else if I want to simplify the question, I would say that we don't say anything about how we say our words. Hello, am I audible? Koi hai online? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, whenever we are uh, expressing 
yes ma'am body language body language facial expression yes, eye movement body movement the time body we body yes movement. facial And? expression eye movement lovely or uh, so then uh, sometime we are uh, uh, up down our lips sometime okay. so there are so many variations is there whenever we are not talking uh, so, so sometime people in anger their face is mm. different sometimes mm. very happy the face is very different so there are so many uh, facial as well as body movement that Correct. time we can uh, uh, not speaking but we are expressing our own way so uh, the, these are the different absolutely correct ये सब आपने जो पॉइंट्स बोले बॉडी लैंग्वेज एक्सप्रेशन बॉडी जेस्टर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट बट हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस आर एक्चुअली वेरी कॉन्शियस अबाउट इट कि हाउ डू आर वी रिप्रेजेंटिंग आवरसेल्फ आउट इन द पब्लिक वेरी फ्यू बिकॉज़ हम रूटीन में इतने बिजी हो जाते हैं चल ना छोड़ ना जाने दो ना ये भी काम कर लेते वो भी काम करते बट वी मिस आउट ऑन दैट फैक्टर दैट पीपल अराउंड अस आर कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑब्जर्विंग स्पेशली द स्टूडेंट्स हु लुक अप टू यू बिकॉज़ कहीं ना कहीं यू आर देयर रोल मॉडल You are setting a value into their life, and they do observe you. छोटा सा छोटा gesture भी वो लोग observe करते हैं, isn't it? हाँ ना yes no yes 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 madam yes 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 madam. Uh, PPT आया है. Gayatri, can we share the PPT? Yes, Prachi, give me two minutes. अच्छा ठीक है चल. अच्छा जब तक अपना PPT share हो रहा है, I just go through the pointers. Now, how many of you also agree कि भाई appearance एक झलक जब first time कोई अपने को देखता है, so the first thing that they observe is the way we appear, isn't it? So how many of us actually put in five minutes का daily, either a day previous or on the same day, just to calculate at what you are going to wear today? के just उठे फ्रेश हुए वॉर्ड्रॉप में से कुछ भी निकाला एंड वी जस्ट वोर इट एंड वी लेफ्ट फॉर द वर्क हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस इन द ऑडियंस दे एक्चुअली थिंक अबाउट एंड इन्वेस्ट देयर टाइम इन जस्ट 5 मिनट्स और 2 मिनट्स टू प्लान ऑन व्हाट दे आर गोना वेयर टुडे और यू जस्ट रैंडमली टेक आउट क्लोथ्स एंड यू जस्ट वेयर इट एंड यू लीव फॉर द वर्क यू कैन पुट इन द चैट बॉक्स वो भी चलेगा हैंड रेज कर सकते हो आप इवन दैट इज फाइन यस समटाइम्स वी गो विद द रैंडम ऑप्शन random outfits correct anyone over here who plans out their entire uh, outfit a day prior or in the morning 5 minutes kal nikal ke lovely this is joseph said that i do plan every day lovely or a day prior daily plan one week one week in advance kya baat hai especially whenever there is a special occasion correct even i do plans it okay lovely chalo we do plan our outfits i'm uh, assuming the majority of us in the audience are planning our outfits on daily basis so just for those jo log nahi kar pa rahe hai a quick tip on how you can actually plan your outfit on daily basis is make sure ke at least your entire outfit is well color coordinated the whole time especially for females uh ppt aa raha hai gayatri we have the ppt over here so we move on to the fourth slide prachi i'll uh, change the slide just tell me one We'll go on the fourth slide. The appearance way we were speaking earlier. So, especially for the females, let us say, uh, majority of us, I believe, are into ethnic wear. So, we have to take care about, let us say, the colors that we wear around with. Colors may uh, it has to be a very subtle colors and more about the neutral colors. try and avoid wearing more glittery clothes or let us say very neon clothes very bright color clothes which may uh, hello 
Hello. Yes, Patty, you are audible. Yes, I am audible. Okay. Which are which may not be suitable for that whole occasion. Uh, especially for the men's, let us say uh, we wear a lot of formal wear on a regular time. अपना जो tie होता है, जो shoes होता है. Let us say that belt and the shoes has to be matching a lot of times. We cannot have a lot of colors going on in your outfit. Especially for the men's, there has to be certain color coordination. Let us say the socks are coordinating with the trouser, or the belt has to be coordinating with your shoes. Tie or then belt match कर लो. Tie and socks match कर लो. But there has to be certain certain color coordinations. Usually, especially for men, हम लोग कलर्स पे इतना ध्यान नहीं देते हैं. ब्लू शर्ट पहन लिया फिर पिस्ता ग्रीन पैंट पहन लिया या तो वी हैव अ ग्रीन बेल्ट शूज ब्लैक हो जाते हैं इवन योर एसेसरीज आर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग दैट डज नॉट गिव आउट अ राइट मैसेज यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट योर टाइम इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट यू आर वेयरिंग बी वेल कलर कोऑर्डिनेटेड इज वॉट माई पॉइंट इज ओवर हियर इन द सेशन सेकेंड पॉइंट इज वी मूव आउट ऑन द बॉडी लैंग्वेज बॉडी लैंग्वेज डेफिनेटली Uh, plays a major role in the way a people is perceiving you agreed not agreed please unmute karke baat kar i feel like i'm talking to myself over here in the agreed agreed ma'am agreed yes so how... yes yes correct so what do you think is the right body posture or a body appearance for any individual bahut generalized hai will you like communicating or talking to someone who is absolutely hunched All the time, frown hair. Yes, no, no, correct. No, eye contact should be there. Absolutely correct. So the ideal body posture is when you stand erect, your head is held high, isn't it? Now this is also one of the tricks which many of people use. कि जब भी आपका mood off हो, whenever you are feeling low, many a times you would observe कि whenever you are low or you are in a negative mindset, you automatically hunch while sitting. या तो you lean on the table, या तो headrest हो जाता है, something like this. The moment you change your posture when you sit erect, head held high होता है, you absolutely and try to फटाक uh, से feel होता है कि भाई your mood has absolutely elevated. and that is actually a good body language also let's taking okay this is necessary correct so body language is again one of those patterns where you do communicate very necessary where you do communicate in a normal uh, way again the tone that you are speaking in if i go in a very flat tone at times Okay. Hello, my name is Prachi Shukal. I am a YouTuber. I am an Instagrammer. Will you enjoy or like listening to me or communicating with me? You won't. There has to be a constant voice modulation, or tone may at least open. Especially if you can observe RJs, who radio jockeys, or the way they communicate. There is so much of voice modulation into that tone. लोगों को सुनना भी अच्छा लगता है, isn't it? So the way your tone is. the way your voice modulation is also plays a huge role also the pace of your voice undoubtedly agar main bahut zyada fast bol rahi hu in a speech or into a session people will either not get the value that i'm trying to put in or people will either skip out a lot of points speaking should be monotonous absolutely speaking should not be monotonous correct So the pace of your voice also matters a lot. Hello. Can we all unmute ourselves and can we talk? Uh, Monica, ma'am, if you can give them rights to unmute themselves. Yes, ma'am, it's already given. It's already given. Acha, ठीक है, चलो. We move on to the next slide. Now these are the uh, as one of the participants told in the beginning. Okay, by expression, so we have a lot of many things to say. So these are some of the examples. Okay, by expression, so we have how to talk. Now generally, whenever we are in terms of in between the students, 
do you think if you are constantly frowning yeah you are constantly tensed yeah to unko ekdam ghur ghur ke dekh rahe ho they will be you will be someone whom they would like to communicate no maybe no but if you are someone who is smiling who is happy there is also a doctor hello let us say even if we smile at our students will be more approachable for them agree yes yes tell me what i'm asking is ke khali ek khali smile karke bhi even if we start the entire session we can have a lot of uh, we can create a lot of eagerness in terms of the second person just to know what we are trying to speak we are more approachable as an individual we have a right appearance right body language right facial expressions I guess there is some network issue. Please wait for two minutes. Sachi, madam, you are not audible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 facial expression say how we can get to know ki what the opposite person is trying to communicate the eighth slide now these are the certain ways how we can improvise our appearances first clothing ho gaya clothing mein we have already communicated ki bhai color coordination hona chahiye especially in men and women uh, women should avoid wearing leathery clothes let us say floral या बहुत सारा प्रिंट्स हो गए या तो फिर यू हैव नियॉन कलर्स फॉर मेन एटलीस्ट वी कैन हैव बेल्ट एंड द शूज कोऑर्डिनेटिंग लेट अस से टाई एंड द सॉक्स आर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग शर्ट्स के जो मटेरियल होते हैं मेक श्योर कि दोस आर वेरी थिक मटेरियल के शर्ट्स डोंट ट्राई एंड अवॉइड टू वेयर थिन मटेरियल के शर्ट्स बिकॉज़ द इनर लाइनिंग इज यूजुअली शोन द वेस्ट सो इफ दे आर वेयरिंग अ थिक मटेरियल शर्ट स्पेशली फॉर द मेन that can also elevate your look a lot of times also it is needless to say ki bhai apne jo bhi kapde hote hain that has to be ironed and pressed well we cannot wear wrinkled clothes and just walk off and start with our work it does not give a very pleasing impression second again is the hair style and the hair grooming especially for women agar aapke baal bahut frizzy hai you have a you are struggling with the dry hair make sure the hair are always tied up <laughs> for the men specially hair style part mein you guys will have to get a very regular haircut so that it is a bit presentable beard rakho na rakho it's absolutely your choice but they have to be groomed well ideal way on the beard part but i also believe there are lots of men who would like to have a beard or a mustache so if you are having a beard or a mustache make sure those are groomed really very well the third part mein given architecture architecture is usually in your house the way you have decorated your whole uh, entire house aapke jo statues hote hain then you have uh, wall paintings color of your walls those are also non verbal way of communicating where people try to understand you as a person aapka personality bhi wo samajhte hain in terms of the way your house is entirely been architected 
आइकन्स हो जाते हैं इमेजेस पिक्चर्स फोन वी आर एज अ फैकल्टी वी आर गोइंग इन टू अ क्लास रूम अपना जो बैक कवर भी होता है फोन का दिल्स टॉक लॉक अप लॉट अबाउट अस As a faculty, if you have a very funky, uh, it does present a bit of a personality of yours. If you have a gaming phone cover, it also says that, "Hey, our faculty boy PUBG is playing, or they are playing some of the other games." Anything is presented out there, this fits with your personality. It can be subtle, it can be loud, it can be neutral also. Best way to play safe is have all the neutral uh, things around. Wallpaper जो रखते बहुत जन फोर्ट लिख देते हैं. So they have their own personal family image. Family image भी कोई रखता है तो people know and have an idea कि भाई the person is not attached to the family. You keep a quote motivational quote you that reflects again your mindset. You have entrepreneurship quotes that also reflects the mindset. You have a self confidence वाला quote that also reflects your mindset. so anything that you're keeping as a wallpaper let us say as your back cover uh, laptop ka jo back case ho gaya make sure it is reflecting the personality that you actually are it cannot uh, be something that is contradicting with your personality handwriting style again reflects a lot about who you are what you are i'm not sure if anyone is aware about graphology but graphology is again a handwriting science where the way you write also reflects your mindset so ideally it is uh, said that your handwriting has to be very clear readable at least you, usually ab log itne ghaye mein hote hai ki we just scribble out on the board try and do avoid that also well physical layout of a page ho jata hai जैसे अपना फॉर एग्जांपल पीपीटी होता है पीपीटी में व्हाट बैकग्राउंड आर वी यूजिंग एट द बैक एंड आल्सो रिप्रेजेंट्स और ट्राइज टू कम्युनिकेट समथिंग कैन गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वे ओके अगेन व्हेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू स्नैप फिंगर्स आउट एट समवन इट आल्सो पोर्ट्रेज आउट वन ऑफ अ सिग्नल Usually, I'm okay. Like that, when I'm snapping finger at pointing at our someone or just snapping finger, what do you think I'm trying to communicate? Is it something pleasant? Is it something unpleasant? Hello. Uh, you guys can unmute yourself and we can talk. Unpleasant. Why do you think it is unpleasant? Ordering gesture. Very good. Correct, absolutely. So whenever we are in the public, usually in the flow from it, that is how we try to narrate all. That is how we are trying to narrate everyone out there. Okay, listen. That is something that we have to always avoid. Be very conscious on even snapping all these fingers out, just pointing out at someone. I'm not trying to say that by whatever something weird happened. Correct. So we are snapping all those fingers. is also very unpleasant so you have to make sure ki bhai hum aise snap fingers na kare looking at the audiences we'll go with the body motion next slide gayatri okay also when we are in the classroom bahut sare faculty is ko aise habit hoti hai ki when we go on shaking our legs a lot we go on tapping our le legs a lot ya to fir bar bar aise haath jata hai ya to bar bar shirt correct hota hai what does all these gestures really sympathize अरे व्हाट डिज ऑल दिस एश रियली कम्युनिकेट चैट पे एनीवन कैन राइट इफ आई एम सिटिंग ऑन अ टेबल और आई एम सिटिंग ऑन अ चेयर एंड आई एम कांस्टेंटली मूविंग माय लेग शेकिंग माय लेग कांस्टेंटली डज दैट आल्सो इंडिकेट दैट आई एम रेस्टलेस एज अ फैकल्टी प्रोबेबल लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस ट्राइंग टू हाइड एंड गेट समथिंग नर्वस इज समथिंग व्हेन आई फोल्ड माय हैंड्स Whenever you fold your hands, is something when you are resisting and you are trying to hide something. But when you are constantly moving your legs, it's a very unpleasant uh, body language that we are trying to communicate to the students. That by I have a lot of restlessness or I have a lot of thoughts that are running into my head, and I'm gonna blast out either. So whenever we are in the classroom, let us say we have to be very calm. 
चेयर पे अपन आराम से बैठे हैं मेक श्योर द लेग्स आर कॉन्स्टेंटली नॉट मूविंग यू कैन कीप द हैंड्स ऑन द टेबल लीन फॉरवर्ड लीन फॉरवर्ड इज अगेन वन ऑफ द जेस्टर्स और द बॉडी लैंग्वेज व्हिच कम्युनिकेट्स टू द स्टूडेंट कि आई एम हियर टू लिसन टू यू अग्रीड and again facial expression may not to forget that we have to constantly keep on smiling not smiling in a very weird way that the students get creeped out but a general smile which makes your personality predict out saying that you are a approachable human being next when we move on is when we want to call someone we usually uh, tap on the shoulder and we call them up isn't it but at times we want to really we want someone's attention or we want someone to listen to us we can't grab their hand pull them towards us and make them listen it's not that very appropriate way of communicating touching them on their shoulder calling their back kare bhai suno is the right way of communicating because again touch is very a powerful sense i'm sure women over every woman over here will be able to agree that with just one touch you'll be able to evaluate whether the touch was a deliberate touch or whether it was a soft touch isn't it or by mistake that is how a powerful touch is so when we are touching someone make sure we are touching them on the shoulder it's a very gentle touch you can't grab their shoulders or you can't pull their hand kare bhai mujhe suno that is not a right way of uh, grabbing their attention or trying making them listen to you So again, we have worked upon the posture part. We have worked upon the gesture part and the facial expression part. Facial expression, me yes, there has to be a eye contact, which is again very necessary. But don't make an eye contact where you're constantly staring at them in a very uh, in a way that actually scares them off. अगर मैं आपको constantly let us say you're sitting in front of me and if I'm constantly looking at you, just staring at you, that freaks you out. But if there are a couple of blinks in between. Let us say for a split second, I have a little right and a little left, and then again I am making an eye contact with you. That makes you also a bit comfortable when you are sitting in front of me. Not when I am constantly staring at you at one gaze without any blinks. That makes anyone uncomfortable. Eye contact is generally very, very, very necessary in any communication, but not in a way that make that makes the opposite person very uncomfortable. Have an eye con, have an eye contact, but make sure you blink. Make sure you look for a split second. Please, right, look at them in front of you, and you're making the opposite person feel comfortable around you. Okay. Now, when we talk about the body language or the body postures, then there are different different types of body postures and gestures where we get to know whether the person is here to listen to us, whether the person. is actually very aggressive or whether the person is not at all into listening mode jahan pe unme sunna hi nahi hai or whether the person is actually trying to understand and going to respond to us so we'll try to understand different types of body languages and postures where we get an idea or we make or we communicate in a way to the opposite person ki bhai ha mujhe tumhe sunna hai i know i'm not here or i'm not your bored by your talks but i generally want to listen to you And I generally want to communicate with you. So if we go on to the 17th slide, we will get to know. So open is in terms of the arms. कि आपके जो हाथ हैं, how open are they? Are they closed or are they open? जो back and forward है, is in terms of कि what is your uh, shoulder placement? Is it towards forward or is it towards backward? is it now if i am an individual or i want to be in a mode right now but i genuinely want to listen to my uh, children around the students around and i genuinely want to communicate to them the ideal posture or gesture would be that i'm leaning forward and my hands are open where i'm ready to communicate with them where i'm ready to listen to them if i'm leaning back and i'm holding my hands is fine that i'm trying to either evaluate you or i'm controlling my emotions These are the two ways I'm communicating right now. या तो फिर मैं एकदम बोर होके ऐसे बैठ जाऊँ कि हाँ भाई बताओ तुम्हें जो बताना है वो हाँ मैं सुन रहा हूँ या मैं सुन रही हूँ. That actually indicates कि भाई how uh, you how much you're not into that listening mode right now, or else you are bored, you're not interested into that session or a communication. That is the message that it is communicating. 
So I'll run you through few body postures and languages which try to communicate in a non-verbal way. So we go on to the 18th slide. You will notice that the people over there are leaned forward and उनके हाथ भी open है, which also says that they want to listen to you, they want to communicate with you, trying to understand you. and they want to express their thoughts very openly with you there is one pose which is very common i'm sure everyone knows is folded hands folded hands is one of the poses when you always give when you don't want to communicate with people when you don't want to listen to them or whenever you are trying to control your own thoughts when you're not open to new perspectives but if you are an individual if the communication goes in a line where you want to be open to the new conversation or the perspectives you always lean forward and you keep your hands and legs open fold karke mat rakhna legs uh keep the unfolded legs and hands be open rakhna if you go to the next session uh, sorry next slide 19th wala you'll be able to see the person is okay thoda sa wrong ho gaya hai but if the person is leaned thoda sa backward but the person has folded uh, the hands they are trying to evaluate things as of now they will hold it is trying to communicate a message ke bhai mujhe abhi nahi batana i'm here to, to listen to you but shanti se bata if you go to the 20th slide you will able to see that the person is absolutely not at all interested in the talk you look at the body language that they are having right now hath piche hai ekdam lean forward hai probably eye contact bhi nahi hoga they looking here and there is a way or to way of communicating ke bhai mujhe abhi interest nahi hai in this entire conversation so try to avoid this posture as much as you can and next if you see ke bhai ekdam closed hai where i have held my emotions very uh, aggressively and i have absolutely leaned forward says ki bhai yes there is a lot of thoughts boiling up into my head there are a lot of emotions that are boiling up into my head but i'm right now going to try and resist it but the moment you stop i'm going to blast up to you also the facial expression is also playing a huge role over here finger tap karna bar bar pair hilana means also says ki i'm absolutely restless and impatient about the whole conversation or the topic so we are trying to suppose to even avoid that now there are lots of things which i said right now which we are supposed to do and we are suppo not supposed to do but just briefing it up what we are supposed to do as an individual to have an ideal communication let us say to put forward a message to the second person ki bhaam bhai mujhe tumhe sunna hai in this entire conversation is what we have to do is probably lean forward or you can lean backward not absolutely backward but lean up straight either forward or you can lean up straight with your open hands कि यस आई एम हियर टू लिसन टू यू यस बताओ आपको क्या बात करनी है अगेन नॉट टू फॉरगेट दैट देयर हैज टू बी स्माइल ऑन योर फेस अगेन देयर हैज टू बी एन आई कांटेक्ट डोंट स्टेयर देम कांस्टेंटली व्हिच फ्रिक्स देम आउट बट यस देयर हैज टू बी अ वेरी सटल आई कांटेक्ट ऑन कांस्टेंट बेसिस इज एन आइडियल वे ऑफ अ बॉडी लैंग्वेज और अ बॉडी पोस्चर अगेन इफ वी गो अप ऑन द बॉडी लैंग्वेज वाला पार्ट लीनिंग फॉरवर्ड शोस अ लॉट ऑफ लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस Lean backward, kia, aju baju dekha, shows you are absolutely not interested. But sitting up straight with the head high, not only really elevates your mood, but also communicates out a lot of confidence within you. So make sure that whenever we are representing ourselves in a public or in a classroom, our body should, our body language is absolutely straight, erect, head upper hai. If you are having a one-to-one -one interaction with your students, make sure. Okay, you are there. You make them feel that you're listening to them. How do we again make them feel listening to them? Is being projecting our communication away that we are open to listen to you. Just either that way, yeah. So you can lean forward. Don't fold your hands. Keep your hands open. You can also express yourself very openly. There are certain gestures and pictures which I've put in to see, and you will able to try to evaluate. कि भाई अगर मैंने ये पोस्टर से मैम सिटिंग व्हाट मैसेज इज इट कम्युनिकेटिंग टू द थर्ड पर्सन और द सेकंड पर्सन सो वी गो टू द 20 सेकंड स्लाइड विल बी एबल टू सी द वे द पर्सन इज जस्ट सिटिंग बैक लीन करके हाथ ऊपर डाला है इज ट्राइंग टू से भाई आई एम एकदम बोर्ड 
इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तेरी बात पे या तो मुझे सब आता है एंड अभी मैंने चिल मोड आई नॉट इन मोड टू हैव दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन सिमिलर इफ यू मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट वे नेक्स्ट स्लाइड यू विल बी एबल टू सी दिस इज द बॉडी पोस्चर व्हाट मैसेज इज द पर्सन ट्राइंग टू कम्युनिकेट और हाउ पिक्चर व्हाट पिक्चर यू गेट अबाउट द सेकंड पर्सन इफ यू सिट ओवर हियर लीनिंग अ बिट फॉरवर्ड विद लेट अस से हैंड्स एंड लेग्स ओपन यू विल बी सी दैट द पर्सन इज एक्चुअली इन अ पॉजिटिव माइंडसेट दैट रेडी टू लिसन टू यू the person is trying to actually evaluate your talks and trying to respond to you and not react you go to the next slide again the next body posture will tell you uh, nahi yeah nahi we we'll go to the another one ha huh. when you trying to constantly scratch our head ya to head high kiya ya to fir we go on doing this on constant basis we get to know that the person is not that confident enough in what he or she is trying to say constantly doubt hai hesitation hai in terms of expressing him or herself again if we go to the next out next a uh, body posture the person is sitting like this aise bhi hota hai bahut bar aise bhi hota hai bahut bar aise bhi hum dekhte hai is there is a curiosity a lot of in the person now see the reason i am going through all these pictures again and again trying to make you realize the importance about how you are supposed to carry yourself and how Unknowingly, we just body posture. Some sit there in the classroom or in front of our students. Does try to reflect or does try to communicate a lot about your mindset and your mood right now. We might not even know that when we are talking with students, we are not talking because we are interested, but we have to talk. We are sitting like this, or maybe we are just sitting like this. The first slide that I showed is trying to communicate. We are interested. Not here. Don't try to pass on that message. Let so, me just quickly quickly run through all the other postures as well. That is actually an ideal one. Hand rubbing भी हमें avoid ही करना है constantly. No scratching over your face. I'm sure कोई ऐसे बैठता नहीं है in the classroom, but at times when we just want to feel like home and we want to get way too relaxed, we might land up sitting like that. So please avoid it as well. Again, so these were all about the physical. Uh, these were all about the body languages and the body postures. Now about the physical characteristics, height, weight, hair, skin color, breath order. Make sure that we do have a dental clean up on every uh, once in a month at least. I know it is a very underrated statement, but at least have a mouth freshener, have, and dental checkup at least once in a month. That makes a very uh, critical role. Again, the body weight. There is no body shaming over here. Absolutely not. it is absolutely fine about the way that you have but if you can have a very uh, if you can have a bit of exercise into your routine or maybe you can go to a gym that will absolutely try to communicate a good message about you hair ke liye again we, we had already discussed previously that if you are a female who, if you have a very silky and a long hair or medium length hair you can keep your hair open as absolutely fine but if you are someone who has a very dry hair you have a frizzy hair बहुत सारे हेयर फॉल होते हैं इट इज बेटर यू कीप योर हेयर टाइड अप सिमिलरली इवन फॉर द मेन मेक श्योर दैट यू ग्रूम योर सेल्फ वेल इन अफ डोंट ट्राई टू अवॉइड दैट कैरे हाई गो टू द बार बार लेटर से इन अ वीक और टू या तो फिर मैं एक महीने में एक बार चला जाऊंगा या चला जाऊंगा चला जाऊंगा डोंट डू दैट वे गो रेगुलरली सेट एन अपॉइंटमेंट फॉर एवरी ट्वेल्थ और फिफ्टीन डे गेट योर सेल्फ ग्रूम यूजली अगर बियर्ड ट्रिम्ड हो तो इट इज मच बेटर बट इफ यू आर समन हू लव लॉन्ग बियर्ड make sure those beard and the mustache is groomed you can't have those ungroomed beard and mustaches uh, and you cannot just communicate with the people does not give a good sign or a message out there next again so when we uh, communicate about the clothes again ki bhai uh, clothes may we don't have to wear all bright colors we have to wear very subtle colors now depending upon the occasion there is no denial or against the bright clothes you can definitely wear bright color clothes neon the definitely avoid color but depending upon the occasion or the uh, venue that you are going in 
usually when you're going into the classrooms or when you're communicating with the board of members try to wear subtle colors try to wear neutral colors try to wear formal colors when i say formal colors blues ho gaye gray ho gaye beige ho jata hai and there is light shades all these colors are absolutely uh, a big yes to wear into such formal meetings now especially for women we try to apply a lot of makeup and lipsticks but lipsticks again we have to make sure that the color of the shade of lipstick is very neutral or new don't try to go with very bright lipsticks or don't try to go with any neon i'm sure neon to koi pehenta nahi hoga but if anyone is wearing try to avoid that into a formal meet make sure your lip shade is actually stick to a neutral one and again for them the accessories that you all wear has to be color coordinating let us say accessory is matching with your watch or with your handbag at least the bag is matching with your shoes please try to make sure your accessories are again uh, well maintained don't try to wear those uh, outdated outdated nahi bol sakte but then uh, not well maintained jo rust ho jati hai bahut baar you have all necklaces which are at times rusted and earrings that are at times are rusted try to avoid wearing all of those accessories make sure accessories are also up to date bags mein bahut baar we have all those peelings even in men's wallet peeling ho jata hai bahut baar your leather is absolutely getting worn out make sure replace that with a new one even in bags make sure replace the bag with a new one next now again first impression so whatever we talked about right now in terms of your dressing in terms of the body language in terms of the way you represent yourself gives out a very first impression of you to the second or the third person so we have to make sure that we are following and sticking all these basic rules zyada kuch nahi manga zyada kuch nahi bola hai ya manga hai i have not set out a fixed rules and sets it is just about you have to make yourself very presentable out there in the public no one is asking anyone to go out and shop new clothes or to get uh, new branded clothes you can obviously wear whatever you already have in the wardrobe but make sure those clothes are absolutely correct according because that gives out the first impression about you make sure your accessories are well coordinated and well maintained because that again also gives out the first impression about you and at times if we go on to the uh, we'll directly skip the 42 slide and at times we are uh, and at times let us say ye sab ho gaya in terms of communicating in a non verbal way but what if then there are certain things that we have to have to coordinate or we have to speak about as a faculty to the students but we have to watch our tone at times a lot there is no stopping you in anyone ki bhai aap kuch communicate mat karo but whatever you communicate has to be communicated with a lot of respect you can't use slangs you can't abuse someone you can't be disrespectful especially snap finger kiya pointing out at someone or pulling their arms very rigidly not in a way which is disrespectful to anyone you can definitely communicate whatever you want to students as far as you communicate with a lot of respect if you dislike someone uh, sitting in your classroom is being in your classroom we can request them ki bhai aap can you please get out or can you please move out so that you don't disturb the entire class that would be uh, an way of communicating yourself ki aapka bhi feeling suppress nahi ho raha hai at the same time you are also communicating what you want i guess that's it for today we will have to quickly wind up yes ma'am thank you i request everyone to on your videos for a group photo yes thank you now anyone have any questions please ask yes anyone have any questions please ask to me 
एनी क्वेश्चन कुछ डाउट आई नो थोड़ा बहुत अनफॉर्मल गया है पूरा सेशन बट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज फ्री टू कम्युनिकेट एंड मोर देन हैप्पी टू कम्युनिकेट इन पर्सन Rather than just going on speaking one to one, me. I hope no questions. I guess no questions. Okay. So I request now Kanishka Nen to propose a formal vote of thanks. Thank you, Monica, ma'am. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. A graceful afternoon to our dignitaries and all the teachers present here. It is my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on uh, this faculty empowerment program. I. on behalf of achievers college would like to express my sincere gratitude to today's speaker ms prachi shukla ma'am who has uh, spared her valuable time from the uh, from her busy schedule to grace this faculty empowerment program a special thanks to our honorable chairman sir uh, dr c m mahesh bhandikar for his all time support special thanks to our respected principal ms sophia disuza ma'am for being there and motivating us with a deep sense of appreciation a big thank you to our vice principal ms sana khan ma'am for her support and guidance and at last a big thanks to our hod of management department uh, hod of management studies ms monica vivani ma'am I thank you all the faculty members for your active participation. If I have missed anyone, my sincere apologies towards them and a big thank you to them. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all of you, and sorry for the delay today. Thank you.